Damn it. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, oh, those things are so gross. They have mouths that are like buttholes with teeth, man. Jump scaring coming. Ah! Damn it! Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and today we're going to be getting into a reaction for the movie The Thing. This is from 2011, the prequel. I have seen the original one from John Carpenter. A um, couple months back, last Halloween of 2021, I mentioned that I'd like to start regularly doing horror movie reactions. And I've thrown a few out there, but it's been a while since I did one. It's been a while since I've seen a movie, period. So, um, yeah, we're going to go with this one. This one was also on a poll I did uh, last Halloween. I, I did a poll on what horror movie I should do a reaction to, just kind of like a Halloween special. This was number three on that poll. Number one was the Evil Dead remake, which I reacted to. Number two was Poltergeist 2, which I reacted to. But I've been too lazy and too busy to upload it. So um, it's been sitting on the shelf. I need to get it out there, too. So, um... Yeah, like I said, this is the prequel, 2011, directed by a Mathis Van Henningen. I'm probably butchering that name, so my apologies. Um, and yeah, this kind of tells the story of what happened before the thing, uh, you know, arrived to the Americans um, in Antarctica at their station. So um, I can't remember if the... I think they were saying in that movie that this came from a... I don't know if it's a Norwegian base that was there or a Swedish base. It's some kind of European base that was there. So uh, I guess we'll find out. Uh, <clears throat> one cool detail here that I saw just on a little trivia thing is it says the producers con convinced Universal Studios to allow them to create a prequel to John Carpenter's The Thing from 1982 instead of a remake as they felt Carpenter's film was already perfect. So making a remake would be like, and this is in quotes, painting a mustache on the Mona Lisa. However, the prequel still has the title of the original film because they couldn't think of a subtitle. For example, The Thing Begins. That sounded good. So <laughs> they just used the same name. Hey, yeah, it's kind of hard to think of a nice little extra tag, right? The Thing 2, that's lame. The Thing Begins, that's lame. Um, but yeah, anyway, I got the lights turned down here for a little bit extra horror movie atmosphere. Let's go ahead and dig in. Here we go. 2011's The Thing. I don't know if I mentioned this in the intro. I don't think I did, but the original The Thing is one of the best horror movies I've ever seen. So I'm sure it's going to be a hard act to follow. Man, that's a beautiful shot. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, look at that, man. It's crazy. It's that same song. It's that same song from the original. Sort of. Assuming they're gonna find the spaceship. This got raunchy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Stop. <laughs> Must be that spaceship. Oh, shoot. Oh, dude. Wow, that would suck. How the hell are they going to get out of that? What is it? Ah, it is the spaceship. Sorry to say that uh, I don't even know what language that's, that is. It's got to be uh, Norwegian or Swedish or... I don't know. I don't know how those dudes are going to get out of there, man. Wait. Kate. Shit. Sorry, Kate. These fellas said that you've been expecting them? Oh, of course. Uh, yeah, I knew it seemed weird. I was like, felt like hey. a different place. You, uh, you forgot, didn't you? No, no, I... Yeah. <laughs> I'm Dr. Sander Halverson. Kate Lloyd. Do you know who I am? I do. 
Huh. Okay. Thought she was gonna say no. It says you specialize in vertebrae paleontology. Primarily, yes. And obviously you extracted specimens from pack ice. I've worked on several cold weather digs. I've seen her before. An old friend of mine and colleague from Oslo runs a geological research station in Antarctica. 48 hours ago, his team found something quite remarkable. We're flying down there tomorrow evening to examine the site, and I need a paleontologist. And I guess I don't have any time to think about this. No, I'm sorry. I need your answer right now. Well, I guess... I'm in. Great. Adam will get you the details of our departure. Scott Pilgrim. That's where I've seen her. She was in a movie called Scott Pilgrim. Yes, here you go. Yes, of course. Saves the world or something? What I want to know is how those dudes got out of that crevice. <laughs> like, they were screwed there. Look at this guy. I mean, how is that even humanly possible? <laughs> was he part of the crew? That it's snoring, dude? I was hoping maybe you could help me with something. I, I can't seem to get a hold of a newspaper that's not, you know, three weeks old, and I'm a man in kind of desperate need of certain information. I want to know how the Cavaliers are doing. I don't know, she. I don't follow football. It's not football. <laughs> it's basketball. Uh. They play basketball. Barely. Hey, listen, so you guys know, whatever y'all are doing, you might want to wrap it up in a couple of days. Yeah, why is that? A storm or something. There's a storm moving in. Always is, right? Nasty one. Good morning, Griggs. Yeah, he's right. Okay, so that dude and is part the of the crew. The place you want to be is cooped up with a dozen Norwegian guys. Crazy thing about the prequel is that you know everyone is going to die. Because in the first one, they were already all dead, except for, I mean, there was like two guys, I think, right? Chasing the, uh, the wolf or the husky. Dr. Halverson? Yes. Welcome to Pool. Thank you. Edward asked you to go to the site right now. Mars is going to drive you. Hi. Hi, welcome. Please go in the Sprite. Thanks. So that thing's called a Sprite. I wonder how many of those things they have. So that one's like the limousine Sprite, huh? It's bigger. They just dug their way to it then. That guy leading the way was the one driving in the beginning, right? So I guess they did make it out. I'm gonna be forgetting all these names, man. Yeah. So I'll tell you guys right now. Kate Lloyd, Adam Finch, my research assistant. Welcome. Hi. This is Edward, my good friend. This is some of my team. This is Carl and Juliet, both geologists. Hi. Welcome. Too many names, man. I think I'll remember Sander and Kate and Adam. Maybe I maybe I will remember Edward, Juliet, and something else. Carl. Wow. Very sleek. Holy shit. We estimate it's been here approximately one hundred thousand years. We picked up a signal was emitting some kind of distress call, perhaps. We think the signal got triggered when the survivor exited the craft. Oh, so they saw it already? Oh my god. Oh, so like a hundred thousand years ago he exited it, I guess. I wonder what the original form looks like. I couldn't really see too much through the uh, ice. How long would it take to get out, you know, okay? Maybe half a day. Is that its head with the horns like that? I should ask you, how fragile is it? It's uh, not in the fracture zone, so there's very little uh, risk of hey. measuring. Hey! Game of Thrones guy! We can get it out in one piece. Yeah. Tormund! So, you've got it all taken care of. I don't think you really need me. <laughs> <laughs> what about him? Is he completely disinterested? Or? Oh, that's Lars. He doesn't understand English, but he'll work like a bear. So let me get this right. You crash into a glacier. Sure. And then without enough information, you leave the cozy confines of your ship? Well, maybe it was hurt and uh, went to find some place warm. Well, I guess it didn't find it. I wonder if that was the case. Maybe it was disoriented when it exited it. From the crash, you know? I'll never look at them the same again. 
Wonder when we're gonna have that day where we can't look at them the same again. I know the Navy released that thing, or the United States Navy released that thing saying, yeah, we have unexplained UFOs on camera and they showed the footage from the pilots, but I don't know, man. We're gonna need more than that. Big ass ice cube, man. I never believed in this shit. I always did. I have a friend who does too. I'm going to take a tissue or something. Do you really think that's a good idea? Yes, I do. That's what's gonna doom you. I mean, the conditions are so unpredictable and we don't have the proper equipment. Sterilization is an issue. Edward, what do you have in the way of a small diameter drill? Up to 30 millimeters. Very good. Okay. Just a second. In the future, don't contradict me in front of those people again. I just thought it. You're not here to think. You're here to get this thing safely out of the ice. I hope you understand each other. Yeah, you're a dick. We understand. And this is where you guys are going to get screwed. There's your sample. Just go off the tip of that bit. You're gonna be leaving samples all the way up that hole. Yeah! <laughs> Gentlemen, ladies, after a, a short but thorough investigation of our visitor, I can say unequivocally, that I have never seen anything on any cellular level like what we have in that other room. From this point on, the world as we know has forever been altered. Melting. You, my friends, will all be immortalized as the people who made this discovery. <laughs> Thing is, it showed that ice block melting. I'm sure the thing's gonna get out. But what kind of organic creature can survive, you know, frozen like that? Nothing can. Hey, Gridgy, yeah. you wanna go out and get a cabinet stash? No problem. That guy was in Lost. Yeah, he was also in the show Oz on HBO. Dang, we're gonna see some dogs get messed with again, too. I feel like that's not an awesome idea. Oh no, we gonna, it's gonna jump out now. If it is, this is gonna be like the first jump scare of the movie. Oh no. Oh man, it's coming. I just know it. Dude, that thing is big too. Cracked. Get out of there, dude. Get out. Boom! Jesus! Ah, oh, son of a gun, man. Oh, that was cruel. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, now it's gonna happen. Oh, I knew it, man. It broke out. The freaking thing's alive! I was in the room, man. Looking at the ice. Freaking thing jumped out. How did it do it so perfectly? You know what I mean? Like, how did it even know which way was up? Searching groups of two and three. If you find it, pull out. Don't attempt anything on your own. And be careful. 
don't know what condition it's in. I think it's in pretty good condition if it can jump out of a freaking ice block. Wasn't there one guy on his own? The dude who went in the helicopter? Griggs? Was that his name? Griggs. Leave that open. Oh. He wasn't alone. Oh no, did it already get the... Oh, it did. It already got the dog. Jesus Christ. Wow. I wonder why it just didn't, for now, take the form of the dog. Unless it just needed sustenance. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Dang. Oh my gosh. Its original form is like an insect. It attacked Henry. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, that thing looks disgusting, man. Yeah, fire, fire does kill those things, right? They did that in the first one. Obviously, it's not dead. That's uh, <laughs> the beginning of the movie still. Is the body there, though? It is. Oh, no. If the body is there, someone's infected then. Uh, we're going to fly him back to McMurdo at sunup and take him to the military hospital. And what are you going to tell them? Hmm? Tell them the truth. As crazy as it sounds. He's going to be at odds with that pilot guy. Oh, man. It's like fused to the creature. Look at that thing, man. It's like an insect slash squid kind of thing. It was like a giant cockroach, man. Oh, isn't that crazy, man? That really makes you think, like, if you, if, you know, if aliens do exist on other planets, you know, for us on Earth, it's like uh, mammals, you know, humans are the dominant species, the smartest species, but how has evolution, again, I have to keep stressing, if there is uh, other life uh, in the universe, like, what is the, the main form of life on these other planets? Insectoid creatures that are super intelligent, reptile-like creatures, sea, like maybe there's planets that are all, you know, the sea, and it's all sea creatures that are super intelligent and, and have the capacity to build things, you know? It's crazy just when you think about it. Doesn't just touching it infect you too? Can I help you? He's like, no. Oh, you have gloves. Okay, good. Oh, they both have gloves on. Oh, side open. That's disgusting, man. I better hope there's no sharp bones in there. Ugh. The tissue looks almost new. Fusing. It's fusing into something. What was it doing to him? Well, it appears it was absorbing him. Pretty good effects, I have to say, so far uh, in the movie. Hey. Yeah, just to take stock, the movie's alright so far. Really good special effects. Wow, are you okay? I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'm okay. You need something? She's like, I need to unsee. <laughs> The inside of that creature. What is this? Looks like a titanium plate. 
Oh, yeah. Just to reinforce broken bones. Yeah, he had hardware. Functions. Yeah, that's right. That means it, it can't. Henrik broke his arm last year. It couldn't do anything he had to with go that. To Argentina to get it set. The creature would have had to crap that thing out. So if this was in his arm, what's it doing out of him now? That's a good question. Can't absorb metal. I wonder how that's going to help us later. I think you should take a look at this. Gonna clone him or something. These cells aren't dead. Oh. That's not possible. It's They're imitating his cells. They're mimicking him. Okay, I don't know if that's what I'm seeing, but I'm... They're imitating him. So even the one creature could be a million creatures just from dropping the blood. Is that guy infected? Wait, he's infected though, isn't he? There you go. What is that? Oh, they're filling metal fillings. Who is it, man? It's got to be the sick guy. Get the hell out of here. Nice. Creature's a bit sloppy, isn't it? There's not gonna be anything in there, because it morphed into... a person. Obviously, it never left. From the original, so she's gonna stop it or something. Flag is down. What's wrong? We shouldn't leave. Alright. Let's just get out of here, man. Alright, fuck it, we're landing. Shit. Let's take her down. Probably just forgot something. Oh no. We'll, we'll be in the air in no time. Oh. Don't worry. Hang in there. Oh shoot. Oh god. It, it was him. Holy crap. Oh my god. Something's wrong. You're gonna have to crash that thing. Make an explosion to kill it, man. Shoot. That was four Hailey people. McMurdo, or any ears on emergency channel. Do you copy? Over. Four people gone, just like that. They crashed here, right behind this reach light. Oh, I guess they could have survived too. You know, chopper to even get close to them unless refueling in Haley. All this can't be a coincidence. Radio's dead. It's fucking dead. That incoming storm. There's too much interference. Dang it. Don't tell me there's like another person infected too. There he is. Someone cleaned it. But why'd the creature freaking do that afterward? Why didn't it do it right when it happened? <laughs> Dude, all he cares about is having his name be the as one of the discoverers. Dosh, get your gear. We'll take a snowcat to the next base. Dosh, you I don't think that's a good idea. The American base. And why is that? Because no one can leave this camp. I took a sample of Henrik's blood, and I saw that the alien cells were still alive, and they were copying Henrik's cells. Someone there's infected. I don't. I don't understand. What are you saying? Saying one of you guys is not who you are. But this thing can. And probably has replicated a person. Then they're gonna be like, how the hell do you know? I'm just gonna be like, look, molars, molar fillings. What are those? I think they're fillings from someone's teeth. 
I found them by a puddle of blood in the shower. It can clone cells, but not inorganic material. It couldn't copy these, so it spit them out. It shat them out. When I went back to check it, someone had cleaned up the blood. Someone had wiped it away, right? So whatever it is... Here? It is still here. This is what makes this, uh, these two movies, um, cool. Not only is it a horror movie, but it's almost like a, a game of Clue. Who done it, right? You don't know what we're dealing with. Adds that element of you can't, you don't know who to trust. Well done. Yeah, damn right, well done. She, she's exposing this thing, trying to save him. I know where they keep the keys for the vehicles. Well, we know it couldn't be her, right? Juliet, because then the creature wouldn't know this about one. these keys. Like the creature can't take their memories, right? It can only. You said there were five. Oh no! Don't tell me. Turn around! Oh my God! It was her. Oh my God! Go! Go! Run! You gotta run, dude. Oh, you're done. Now he's infected. Unless it just outright kills him. Flamethrower. Better hurry up, man, before it runs away. Burn it! Burn it! Burn it! Burn it! Burn it! Hit it again, man! Hit it again! You're gonna have to hit that other guy's body too, Carl's body. This is pretty good effects for 2011, man. Also, why do these, like the American base and the Norwegian base, why are flamethrowers standard for both bases? They should take advantage of this. They should get some marshmallows, man. Like some graham crackers. Get some s'mores going. What's happening to us? How many are even left? Yeah, so I guess it does absorb memories. Is it still the monks? Could be. I'm sure it is. Could be any of us. Only they knew to test the blood, like uh, Kurt Russell did in the first one. It's like a virus. So what do we do with any virus? Quarantine. We isolate it, and then we kill it. So we take blood samples from everybody. There we go. The only people that I trust now are Kate and Lars, because Lars killed one. You know, I feel like the creature wouldn't kill on its, you know, another member of its species. Which, really, it's the same creature. Which, by the way, how does this creature reproduce? Or, you know, like... I feel like this species, there's only, really only... You only need one, and it'll just produce a million. From other life forms. Granata. Oh. Granata. Granata. Is everything alright? Not shady at all. The storm is getting worse. You should have taken one. Oh, survivors from the crash. Who is that? Dude, it's probably- they're both probably infected. How'd they even find their way back, man? You're Peter! It could be murder. Why do these bases have flamethrowers, man? Such a crazy looking creature, man. Looks like one of those Zergs from StarCraft. If there's any gamer nerds out there. Or like the Tyranids from uh, Warhammer 40k. That was a weird kind of little look there. I wonder if both of them are infected. You need our help. Oh. Okay. 
bunch of scientists. They can't handle what we saw in that chopper. If they saw it, then they know the importance of quarantining. We're preparing a test, and then we figure out who's who. That's all I can offer you right now. That's one of them. Where's both of them? Those pilots. Oh no. Oh, the lab. That had to be either, uh, what's his name? Adam or Sander who did that. One of them is infected too. How could this happen? Well, it was no accident. You, you were the last one. Are you accusing me? Why not? He's got something to hide. What are you, an asshole? I was the one working on the test. I left for two minutes. Yes. You just don't want us to know the truth. Yes. Booyah! Calm down. You no, don't no, 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 no. fucking calm down. There might be All another the distrust, way. man. You don't. You just don't know. Another way to tell. I saw this movie called The Thing, where Kurt Russell was burning blood. We should try that. Oh, or was it him? It could have been him too. Who did the fire? Now tell Lars to open his mouth. Huh? Oh, they're gonna look for fillings. Okay, that works too. Oh, but you're good, obviously. I mean, he killed one of them. Now, Lars has fillings, so he's human. It can't imitate inorganic material. <laughs> he's like, I'm good. I don't know about you guys. Good. What if a person, like, doesn't have fillings? I mean, like, what if you're just someone who just never had a filling? Okay. Right now, it's at least something. A way to eliminate some of us. So I'm gonna get killed because I floss. Nobody's getting killed. Okay. Okay, come on. Do it. Just go stand over there. Could be you, buddy. Oh yeah, yeah, that's not good. Have him stand right by the door where you can make a getaway. You know as well as I do, there are too many variables. Open your mouth. Uh-oh. Open your mouth! He's being shady. They're porcelain. Go stand by Adam. Anyone else with porcelain fillings? This is wrong. Ah, uh, he, he didn't have fillings. It couldn't be all those guys, though. Those three. There's... See one, two without fillings? Jonas, you and Lars go out. Get Carter and Jameson and bring them in here. We'll check them, too. But why don't we just leave them where they are? They, they can't do anything. We need to know. You're gonna leave them outnumbered. We got two flamethrowers. Smart, Anta. Yeah. Not even smart control. Maybe it's him, Edward. Why would he be trying to sow further dissent? Crap, but if they're infected, which I think they are, these guys are in danger now. Oh, I heard something. One of those or both of them are infected. They're out. Fuck the farm. We're moving now. Hey. Lars, what was it that attacked me in skin? Don't leave your buddy, man. Follow him. Lars! Them. That's an American. Come on! Oh. Where are they? Where are the, where are the rest? They, they attacked him. They, oh. they got oh. lost. They all lost. What happened? Uh, no, no. Keep, keep facing him. Keep facing stay him. Stay on them, Peter. Stay on them, Peter. They're inside. Shoot, man. Explosion! Explosion! No explosion. Holy crap. He killed someone who was not infected. I just want to shake my friend, okay? He's dead. It's okay. It was going fine. Oh, he's still alive? Oh no! Get out of there! Come on. 
There are eight people left now. So if they are human, then did they kill Lars? They couldn't be. One of them has to. Not all of us are human. One of them has to be infected, if not both. Put them over there on the couch. That's one cool thing about these movies. This leaves you guessing, man. Oh no! Oh, dude, no! Come on, Tormu, you're tougher than that. Throw it, man! Check it, throw it! He's done. I thought he was better than that, man. I've seen him fight White Walkers. Holy crap, man. Oh. So he wasn't infected. Neither of the pilots were infected? I'm surprised. Oh my god, dude! That's disgusting. Oh, dude. You're screwed if you want him to burn it. You're dead, dude. This is crazy, man. He's like, no thanks, I'll take this food to go. Oh my god, man. These are pretty good effects for 2011. Holy crap. That thing just took out so many people, man. Gotta burn him. The thing touched him, so he's infected now. You're gonna have to burn him too. Dang. There goes four people just like that. There's like four people left now. You okay? If he's not inf if he's not infected, how did they kill the creature that was in the helicopter? Maybe all the creature wanted was just a couple more crew members. You know, he's gonna clone himself and then maybe they could all have just left in their spaceship. Oh yeah, I forgot about that guy. So if those two guys are hiding, neither of them are infected either. So he was never infected. I thought I could have sworn he was. Kill it, kill it! Oh, shit. Oh, you just made two of them. Okay, good job. This place is gonna eventually burn down, but good job. Yeah, there's only three people left. <laughs> what is he using now? Like a broken piece of broomstick? Jump scaring coming. Ah! Damn it! Oh man. It's the Edward Adam creature. You gotta worry about Sander. He's the alien Sanders around there somewhere then. Oh no, it's gonna be another jump scare. It's gonna be behind you. Ah! It's gonna be behind you or something. Oh. 
That's not gonna do nothing. Oh shoot. God, it's such a weird creature, man. It can be whatever. What's he gonna do, man? He's gonna need fire. Oh no. It all. I think he's done. Stop using your fuel, man. Stop. Stop. There's one more. Actually, it could be two more. Sanders one for sure. Maybe the other guy got infected too. Oh, shoot. Yep. Obviously, you know, we know it, it's not going to get out of here, but because of the original in 1982. But just think about what a movie would be like if the thing got out. Just affected millions of people. That would be insane, man. What? Why did you do that close up of his hearing? Hey, Lars. We didn't kill him. Where is Lars then? Oh, yeah. Someone has to survive, right? Because there's two Norwegians who were still alive in the original movie. Now I don't even know if the original form of these things is insects. What if it just stole the DNA of an insect-like species? You have no idea what the original form of these things could be. Maybe this creature wasn't even designed, like this spaceship wasn't even designed by that creature. Could have just stole it from another species. They're gonna fall in. Sure, she's still alive. I bet. Wait. Ooh, wow! Is it opening up a gateway or something, or? Oh, that looks crazy. What is that thing? It's not a gateway. It's like a Minecraft or something. Looks very Minecrafty, man. Oh no, watch out. He's just chilling in a column. Ooh. Go run after that thing. Go run after it. Oh. These things are disgusting, man. Oh, those things are so gross. They have mouths that are like buttholes with teeth, man. Move! You gotta move! Why did it just give up? Why was it all like, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you? Never mind, I'm tired. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or is it playing, uh, is it playing dumb? Don't go slow, you have to like jump. Be fast about it. Go slow, it'll get you. Oh man. Oh, it was playing dumb. I think she got it. Yep, she did. Get it back. It's about to.
crazy that this technology would still all be working fine after a hundred thousand years, also. They can't survive, though. Because in the beginning of uh, the original movie, the two survivors were not Americans. There's a Russian station. About 50 miles from here. Should have enough gas. Oh, I thought it was an American station. Let's go. I'll put this in the back. That part was kind of weird. You know how I knew you were human? Oh no. When you showed it back at base? The earring? Is, he, is it not no. there? Your earring. It's not even the right ear. It was your other ear. <laughs> oh, you're... oh man. Sandrick must have got him when he was at the... Inside the ship. A stop, Ross. Stop. Burn Kate. him. Burn him before he runs. Kate! Kate! Burn him. No! Oh, wow. There's still the other vehicle, right? The other sprite thing? Unless Sander took the key with him or something. Is she not even going to leave there? Guessing not. That means yet Lars, he's still... Wait! They gotta, sh they gotta tie something in with a... I hear a helicopter, okay. Wait, but the dog was dead already! You know they were chasing a husky? In the beginning of the original, the dog was already dead. Hello? Hello, hello, Savannah, man! Hello? Hello? Hello, man? Oh, that guy died. He was killed. Oh. Oh, he committed. Wow. That's right, they found that body in the original movie. Lars. But who is this guy? Who's this pilot? Who the hell is this guy? I mean, I... Wait, but the dog was dead. Stop the yam helicopter! No! No! I don't understand. Now we're picking up right where the uh, original left off. I wonder if there's any more. I'm sure there's not a hidden thing. It's not like this is a Marvel movie or something. Um, wow. All right, so we just got done watching The Thing 2011, the prequel. Um, Good movie. I, I enjoyed it. It's not the greatest thing I've ever seen, no. But was it worth my time? Yes. I, I did enjoy this. You know, uh no, they didn't kinda of, they didn't do much different from the original. It was the same premise, you know. The only difference is it was in the, it was another base. The creature tore through everyone in this base too. But um it, it, it was nice to kind of see uh another version, a more modernized version of this. Uh, with better effects, you know, and just all around better technology for the time. I thought that was cool and worthy of, of seeing. Um, obviously, I still think the original, you know, is way, way better. But um, this was all right, too. You know, I, again, you know, now that I've seen this whole movie now, I was saying it midway through, I think, how it's so cool how they, uh, it's not just a horror movie, it's also kind of like a mystery uh, like a whodunit, like, you know, Clue kind of thing, like the Clue board game, uh, with all the distrust, you don't know who's infected. That's a real cool element, you know, in, in these two movies. Um, 
definitely what one thing that helped carry this movie for me. Uh, it's just so cool, man. I you know it's so unique. Um, I do have some gripes. I don't understand how the wolf it took the form of the wolf. Maybe it can just take the form of anything, even if it's dead, as long as it can access the DNA or whatever, you know? Because the wolf was already dead at the beginning, but they didn't burn the body. So maybe that's how the, the it just, a hand or something that got one of those hand creatures was like, okay, here's some DNA I can steal, became the wolf, you know? Um, so that's one gripe, I, you know? I'm just not sure on that, if that's the case or, they didn't really explain it too well, you know. All you knew for sure is that fire kills them, but I didn't know if they could take over a dead body. Um, what other gripes do I have? Uh, okay, just the whole species, you know, of whatever these things are. Um, body stealer creatures, you know, I don't really know what else to call them. What do we really know about it? We don't know anything, you know, we don't even know... I guess we kind of can see the shape of its true form, but again, it's only, it's based off human DNA. So it's almost like, maybe it is like that insectoid creature we saw at the beginning. But ultimately, that's just a guess, and you really don't know. You just don't. You don't know if that creature in the beginning was, uh, you know, a body that was stolen by this, these things. Um, Another thing I'm kind of confused on is this creature's purpose. So, you know, like, at least going off creatures that are on our planet, uh, uh, you know, as far as evolution goes, like, over millions of years or th hundreds of thousands of years, let's, let's use a beetle, for example. Beetles evolved to have stronger and tougher carapaces. Uh, for survival. You know, that took a long time to do. It didn't happen overnight. Um, the purpose of that to get harder carapaces was survival. Uh, chameleons, same thing. Uh, over hundreds of thousands or millions of years, they learned how to uh, change the color of their skin to match, you know, the leaves that they're on. Uh, what's the purpose? The purpose is for survival. What else? With those walking stick creatures, the insects, over hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands and millions of years, they, they've slowly changed to be that stick creature shape to confuse predators. What's the purpose? Survival. So now, you know, using those as an example, looking at this creature, um, steals the bodies of anything. It can be, one creature can be billions of creatures if it wants. It could just keep cloning and cloning and cloning. That doesn't seem quite the same way as, you know, uh, basic evolution. That just seems like overkill evolution. So that, I, you know, I kind of, I'm not, I need more information on these creatures, which I know, I get it. The point is, it's, it's you know, you're not supposed to know. It's supposed to be ultimately hitting a limit of vagueness because that's what makes the horror element, you know, strong in this. But yeah, I, I you know, it just seems like, a creature that evolved to that, it just seems overkill. And uh, yeah, a little too unnecessary. It doesn't make sense to me a bit. Um, yeah, this was a good movie. And the fact that it has me questioning all these things, that's a good thing for me. I love being able to question things. That means I was the movie had me engaged. It had me even questioning the lore of the movie, you know? I think that that's a good sign. Um, yeah, I would... I would watch this again. I would recommend this to other horror fans. This was a good watch. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah. The acting was all right. You know, I, I, I don't have any gripes with the acting. Um, yeah, I, good movie. I would watch it again. Anyway, uh, let me wrap this one up. I'll just be repeating myself if I keep going. Um, if you guys have uh, made it this far into the video, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you got something out of this. Um, sorry, I don't think I did. I didn't get too many jump scares that scared me. I don't know if you're someone who likes to see people get jump scared. I think only two things got me on jump scares, and I even I probably said something out of frustration, like "darn it" or "damn it" or something. Um, and then when he jumped out of the ice, I think that got me too. Um, 
But yeah, anyway, guys, if you made it this far into the video, thanks for hanging out with me. And if you want me to check out any other movies, uh, or want me to check out any songs, I mostly do song reactions, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you.